Good morning to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Let your joy come now in Jesus' name. I say good morning to your health. Good morning to your career. Good morning to your destiny. Good morning to your spiritual life, to your marriage, to all that concerns you. I say good morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jesus. Welcome back to the channel where we meditate on wisdom. Remember, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And in all you're getting, get understanding. Our verse for today is from Proverbs chapter 7, verse 3. But we will read from verse 1 to 3 to just get the connection. But our key verse is from verse 3. So Proverbs 7 from verse 1 says, My son, keep my words and treasure my commands within you. Keep my commands and live, and my law as the apple of your eye. Bind them on your fingers and write them on the tablet of your heart. Now, I remember growing up, and when growing up, I would see this on, on TV shows or commercials or whatever it is. They would take this string. I am, I'm not sure if people still do that today. They maybe do it, but I haven't seen it in a while. They would take the string and they would tie it on their finger. And them looking at that string or them noticing the string on their finger would remind them of something. It would bring back to the memory. And when they see it, oh, what am I forgetting? Then they would, they would think and they would remember and they would say, yes, oh yes, I have to do this. So they get this concept from where? From the word of God. The word of God is saying what? Bind the word of God, bind the law of God, bind the commandment of God on your fingers. Why? So that whenever you see them on your fingers, you will remember them. Whenever you see them on your fingers, you will, you will honor them. It is similar to those who use promise rings. No, I'm not saying that a promise ring is 100% guaranteed to keep you from sexual immorality. But for some people, it does work. Because them seeing that ring on their finger, it brings back to memory why they have it there. And it stops them from engaging in certain actions. It keeps them. They remember, they remember, hey, I should not be doing this. I should not be doing that. No, do not misunderstand me. Not everyone who wears a promise ring or, or rather a purity ring. I think I said promise ring, I'm purity ring. Not everyone who wears a purity ring is pure. But for a lot of people, it does help the situation because when they see, they remember, hey, I make a covenant of God. I am going to be celibate. So yes, it does work. But God say more than a purity ring, more than just a piece of string, or a piece of cloth. I want you to bind my word around your finger. Let my word come back to your memory whenever you look at that hand. And not just that, it says, write them on the tablet of your heart. According to Psalm chapter 119, the word of God says, wherewith can a young man cleanse his way? That is the old King James. And a new King James version say, how can a young man cleanse his way? By Taking heed to your word, O God. With my whole heart I have sought you. Let me not wander from your commandments. Your word have I hidden in my heart that I would not sin against you. God is telling us, and he even said he will do it. I would write my words on their heart. No longer will I write them on tablets of stone, but on their heart. Because on the tablet of stone, easy for you to forget about. But if it is on your heart, if the word of God is written on your heart, it becomes impossible, very difficult, if not impossible, to sin against that word, which is embedded in your heart. This is what it is. We must have the word of God embedded in our heart that we would not sin against him. Why do we sin? Because the word that speaks against that particular sin has not become one with us for it being embedded in our heart. It must be one of us. So what is our responsibility? We have to write the word of God on our heart. How do we do it? By constant meditation. Constant meditation. The more you meditate on the word, the more the word of God becomes a part of you. And even as his word says, do not be a hearer 
of the word only, but be a doer. For he who is a hearer and not a doer is deceiving himself. So while we meditate on the word, we read it to ourselves, we teach it to ourselves, we speak it over and over and over and over, the more important thing is to be a doer. This is what gives the real engraving, the real embedding of that word in our heart. That is what God wants. That is what he wants. And I remember again in Deuteronomy chapter 5, is it verse 29? That says, oh, hmm that they would have such a heart in them that they would fear me and always keep all of my commandments that it would be well with them and their children forever. This is the condition that God wants our heart to be in, a heart that loves him, that fears him, that keeps his word. I pray you receive that heart in Jesus' name. Receive that heart that fears God that you would always keep all of his commandments in Jesus' name. May the word of God, as you meditate on it day and night, become one with you in Jesus' name. As the word of God said, abide in me and I in you. May this be what is said about you in Jesus' name. Jesus, I thank you all for coming and listening today. This is where we bring our meditation to an end. I say good morning to you and congratulations in Jesus' name. Good morning and congratulations. That promotion has come, congratulations. That business has opened, congratulations. Your money has come to you. You are promoted, you are hired. You have been granted that visa. I say congratulations to you. Good morning to you and congratulations in Jesus' name. Jesus. They call me Desipo.